Hi. Yeah, yeah, don't freak out. I know I'm like really blonde right now. It's kind of scary, right? I wasn't actually supposed to turn out this blonde, but just kind of the way it went, and I'm still in the process of getting used to it, so try not to criticize too much. Um. <sighs> I'm so sorry about this whole not vlogging thing. I don't know, I just kind of got a little sidetracked and didn't really know what to say anymore and I figured that I was just gonna stop vlogging but then, you know, sometimes I just kind of get in the mood to sit down and just record myself talking about a bunch of crap that no one really cares about. And that's kind of what, uh, what I'm feeling right now and that's why I'm sitting here. I figured that uh, it would be a pretty, pretty worthy vlog for me to make mention of the fact that I'm really, really excited for Saturday night because I'm going to Nuit Blanche in Toronto, which is basically, to sum it all up, it's like they turn the main parts of the city into like a gigantic canvas and it's full of like artists and their work and it's just like, it goes from dusk until dawn, so it's like an all night thing and I'm going with a couple of my friends on the train and uh, basically the trains kind of end at like one o'clock in the morning and we're kind of planning on staying out all night, so I think it's going to be like a little bit of a homeless adventure for the night and um it'll it'll be a story worth telling so it's almost time for me to start uh, thinking about my portfolio for next year my roommate is supposed to be helping me with that kind of stuff preparing myself and knowing what to expect so i'm going to be talking to her and i'm so excited and a little bit nervous because if things don't work out for me next year i don't know what i'm going to do i just recently finished this project with one of my friends um what we did was we had this big um, plank of cedar driftwood and it was all sanded down and like flattened and nice and then I carved my parents address into it or like the number or the house number and then some grapes underneath it and uh, I used all these like tiny little intricate carving tools and it took me something like just over 20 hours for the whole thing but I mean I had the thing for months like I had it from July up until just like two weeks ago <laughs> because I was off and on working on it because my parents weren't allowed to see it and they were around too much and didn't have the opportunity to just like sit and work on it for a few hours, you know? So um, I finally got it done and then we got it all stained and it's beautiful and we gave it to them at the housewarming party that they just had just a couple weeks ago and yeah, they love it. And so I'll post a picture of it and you can see the masterpiece that uh, me and my friend created. And um, okay, so he did all the, like the, the woodworking, I guess, like the sanding and and the, um, the stand, like he made the stand and then he sanded down the cedar plank that actually has the address on it and then I carved, so that's uh, that's the part that we're played in the making of this wonderful um, yeah, I'm pretty A lot of the reason why I haven't been vlogging too much recently is kind of because I've been caught up playing Kingdom Hearts for like the past three weeks. Basically it's what I do every night, it's kind of embarrassing to uh, but, well, not really. I'm not. I'm not embarrassed about it. It's really fun. It's really awesome. But the, yeah, that's what I've been doing with my spare time with my friends. I've been. Um, I invite them over and we play Kingdom Hearts on my big screen TV. We just kick some heartless ass, and uh, we we just got into Kingdom Hearts too. Um, it's been kind of slow going recently though because like everybody's been really busy with school and that kind of stuff. And uh, but we finished the first one. That was so much fun, and so now I have really high expectations for the second one. And um, apparently there's a third Kingdom Hearts, but it's not uh, available in Canada yet, and I'm just like, I need it here. Because once I finish Kingdom Hearts 2, what am I going to do then? Like, life is going to be over. Kingdom Hearts, is, right now, it's, it's kind of an, an addiction right now. And, uh, yeah, you know how it is when you start playing a video game and then you just can't stop. And your parents start calling and wondering where you are and why you haven't been going to work and why you've been wearing the same pair of socks for five days in a row. Well, as uh, completely boring and kind of pointless as this uh, vlog has been, I know Catherine, for one, will be pleased that I finally posted something. She's been bugging me. And uh, so has my sister. They're saying, get new videos, get new videos up, and I think they, they might have given up on me by now. But uh, this will be a nice surprise. This is a, well, bam, I'm back. And, you know, maybe I'll, I'll post something after I go to Nui Blanche and show you uh, or talk about, at least because my camera is forward and missing, I'll talk about my night and how it was and how, what it was like to be homeless for an evening. And um, yeah, I guess I got nothing more to say. I'm going to go eat that can of tuna and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye. As I promised, here's a picture of the project.